All right, I thought I'd frame it this way because it's more exciting seeing me drive and do these videos if you can see out my, uh, my driver's side window. By the way, pretty hyped up right now. I don't know about you, but exercise makes me effing angry. Ah! I'm just gonna scream and punch the roof of my car and just yell at nobody and feel so righteous while doing it. Anyway, I'm gonna try to keep this video shorter. I had a realization over the past few days when I had my video day relapse, I was not supposed to do a, uh, a video today. So I'm doing one. Also yesterday, I did one, didn't post it yet. So you're gonna get a two for today. That's to make up for it, I, I, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, let me just, uh, let me grandma drive for a second so you can see the sun illuminating my face more. But yeah, I had a realization. I don't know if you, you're familiar with uh, the fable, the story, the bed of Procrustes. Basically, uh, the Procrustean bed is when you have a bed that's a certain size, and then to get people to fit into it, because it's a smaller bed, you have to basically chop people's limbs up uh, and off so it makes a smaller person so they can fit into the bed. So essentially, that's what I realized I was doing with all this stuff. Uh, meditating, working out, waking up early, intermittent fasting, doing a video, uh, having a nice work schedule, being social, all these things. Well, guess what? I was cutting off all my limbs to fit into that bed I thought was the right size for me, the one size fits all bed. Conveniently, what some people would argue that some of the governors are doing right now with dealing with the coof, you know? Everyone's trying their best, but there's a one size all approach that is being attempted and it's failing miserably in some places um, and affecting large swaths of, uh, shall we say, lower middle class Americans at the expense of, or, you know, it's, it's negatively affecting those people. Um, and, but people at the top, hey, they're fine still. So anyway, I was forcing myself into a bed of procrustes, cutting off my limbs. And I realized, I, this is also after talking with one of, my, one of my friends. His name is Beep, because I don't know if you're supposed to know that I talked to him about this or whatnot. And, you know, sometimes people like the privacy. By the way, I'm going to one of my favorite places in the world right now. And also, I cannot tell you what that is, uh, because same reasons. Um, during the time of coof, you got to be a little secretive. Um, but anyway, yeah, he told me to focus. I got to focus more. So I'm going to focus on one task at a time a little bit more because I feel like that's going to be better. And I won't be shoving myself into a better procrustes. Like instead of maybe doing push-ups, ab stuff, jump rope, uh, pull-ups, etc., biking and all in one day, maybe for my workout that day, I just go on a run. Next day I can do just, you know, 100 push-ups, whatever. Um, that's just one example. Focus more. Uh, dial it down, especially in one little area. So I don't know because it was just driving me a little bit crazy, quite frankly, trying to do all that stuff. Humans aren't really, contrary to popular belief, humans are not great at uh, at multitasking. We think we are, but we're, we're really not. You know, we're, we're best suited for focusing on one task at a time and <clears throat> putting all the energy into it and then switching tasks when it seems like we've got a handle on that one. So just some food for thought today, Procrustes, better Procrustes. Um, sorry for missing a couple of videos, but really I should be more sorry to myself, but also I'm going to forgive myself. Because my other friend, beep, um, again, same situation. And he was basically like, hey, just because you mess up once doesn't mean you have to throw it all out. Uh, so, yep, forgiving myself, not trying to shove myself into a bed of procrustes, and I'm trying to work on focus. So, yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Walk to one of my favorite places in the world to hopefully see some of my favorite people in the world. You all have a great day. All right. Bye-bye.